Hey, what's up there, super tubers? It is Thursday, January 3rd, and I was watching some YouTube on my fire stick, and it decided to freeze up, and I'm too lazy to get up and unplug it to reset it, so I figured I'd bring you another player series search. Uh, as you know, if you've watched the other videos of player series, I go through collections that I purchase and I pull out the superstars and the Hall of Famers and the future Hall of Famers and all the autos and relics go into my website. But <clears throat> I figured I'd go and bring you three more players so I can, you know, bring you a little bit more content. Some of you like it, some of you don't. I don't know which because nobody's commented yet, but leave me a comment if you like these series and I'll see if I can dig up some more. But for this one, we're going to try to make it a little bit shorter than usual. By usual, I mean 25 to 30 minutes. I try not to do that, but it just happens. Like most of the, most of you probably that's been collecting a long time, you get started looking through cars and you just lose track of time. But anyway, we're going to start out with a uh, big poppy here, David Ortiz. And see if we can't find some cool cards here. And let me see first if I can get... Is that focused? Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. So, we'll go with a little upper deck magic here. I got a couple of those. Let me see if there's any more in there. And just in case, I'm sure there is. And looks like we spilled over into the Nolan Ryan section there. That's all right. I'll bring you the Nolan Ryan lit next since we already discovered it was there. Let me cover that back up. Yep, we'll do the Nolan Ryan next one. These are some short stacks. But for this one, we're going to do uh, David Ortiz, then we'll do the Nolan Ryan, then we'll do Albert Pujols, and then we'll do Mark McGuire. And if it goes over 20 minutes, I'm sorry. I don't keep track of that too closely. I see a lot of breaks and stuff on my four or five hours, so surely 30 minutes isn't too long to sit and wait, especially in the evening or afternoon. But here we go. The MVP Black uh, Upper Deck. And that one is 2002, I think. I can't read it. Yep, 2002. Then we got the, it's also an 02. Got a lot of early 2000s. It seems like everybody I bought from them seems that's, a, that's all they collected. But I've got a ton of 80s and 90s and a lot of newer stuff. I bought retail hunting last year. But most of the good stuff is that, like of the 18s and 17s and stuff like that. They went on the website pretty quick. But there's another ESPN set from the uh, 2000s. Got a bunch of those in different players. So if you're looking for some ESPN cards, 10 cents a piece ought to do it. Plus shipping, depending on how many you get. That one's got a lot of rash on it. There's a trash can over here. Uh, a little victory set. Uh, Flare Platinum, 02. Uh, private stock. What was that? Pacific. Yep. And that is also an O2, if I'm not mistaken. There's a 99. I don't know. Let me just pull out the magnifying glass here. 99 Pacific. Yep. So that's a 99 private stock. I got a, quite a few of those in good players. And rookies and stars. Another black upper deck with gold stamps. Pretty nice. Is that the same ESPN card we just looked at? Yep, sure is. So that's a dupe. I love this upper deck set. Nice, simple, everything's easy to read. Pretty good shots, action shots. And that's an O2. Dondress O3. Nice, something different, cool. And we all know what that top card is. It's an O2, O3 Hish. And another Fleer Triple Curl. Nice little matte finish. Pretty cool. Like I said, I love all the easy to read. There's another one of those. Rookies and Stars. This is a pretty unfantastic pile of David Ortiz here. I've got some newer stuff of his somewhere. I just haven't got it handy. I still got some sorting to do, guys. Pardon moi. And a little more O2 stuff. So that's going to do it for the poppy. He was a ham at the World Series, man. He's giving the players crap. I love it. Good dude right there. Baseball needs a lot more like him. And here we go. Golden Ryan. There's an archives card for him. Another archives card for him. A lot of archives. 
We'll put those in the archives box. Those are 10 cents a piece if you want them. Uh, Upper Deck World Series, got a pile of those. This is gonna be a pretty unfantastic Nolan Ryan lot. Like I said, I got some better stuff of him somewhere. I pulled some combo with Verlanders and all kind of stuff for Nolan Ryan. But like I said, those are 10 cents if you want them. Clear Greats, those are 25s. And I got a bunch of different players in that. Uh, let's see here. Team Heroes, another Ryan. Oh, I believe that's a Leaf certified. Oh, what year is that? Leaf, Donruss, whatever. <laughs> Same company, different name. Uh, I can't read that. 2002, okay. And we got a little Upper Deck 70s action. Throwback. Another Upper Deck 70s reprint. Other archives, California Angels, back in his Angels days. And that's after his Mets stop. And he started off with the Mets in 68. But that, ooh, there's some more archives right now. I love archives. Every time I see them, I'll just about buy them. There's a 77 Record Breaker reprint. Put those in the 10 cent box over there. Another 10. Uh, 70s Upper Deck. Throwbacks, 92 Leaf, got some torque on that elbow, boy. Surprised he made it as long as he did. He gets a hard throwing pitcher. And this one needs some care, but I can clean that up with a chamois. A little terry cloth, anything non-abrasive. You can buff a lot of these crones out. That's a nice card. Uh, another one of those. Yeah, we got an original here for a change. 88, 89 tops. There's an 87 record breakers. Out of the 88 set. Uh, 90. Twilight years there. There's another one of those Leaf Don Rust doohickeys. And another 88 Don Rust. Or 89. 88. Yep. Yeah, okay. Cool. It says 87 Leaf, but who cares? It ain't worth, probably. Might be worth 25 cents. I doubt it. <clears throat> All right, let's get to the Albert Pujol section. And I don't think I have any of his Angels cards. I'm, yeah, I do. I got some 18s and 17 stuff. Maybe some 16s here and there. I think he went to the Angels in, what, 15, 14? Uh, 02 Donruss. It's a World Stars card from Upper Deck. It's got a little corner issue there, if you can see that. A little bushy corner. I'm sure I got another one of those in here. That's not too bad of shape. I'll keep that one. Oh, a little portrait card here. Flare. Patchworks. I love these. Another ovation with the raised Cardinals logo on it. Uh, Honor Roll Dream. Nice little set. First All-Star appearance. First All-Star appearance, 2001. And we got one with Matt Morris and him. 37 home runs that year. And then the stat leaders checklist, 22 wins for Matt Morris. What year is that? 2002? I think that's what it says. I can't see it real good. The 40 man cards from Al or, uh, excuse me, uh, Upper Deck. And here we go a combo card, League Leaders, National League. That's got a lot of rash on it. I'll spare you that one and throw it in the trash can. There's a cup card, second year card. Got a couple upper decks here. What year is that? I should know this by now. I've seen this card a thousand times. 2001. 02 Flare Premium. Got a pile of that one. Slugging Percentage Leaders. This is the tops, top tens. And played first and third. Doesn't see how many he had. Yeah, 610 slugging that year. Right on. It's a monster. Another 02 second year card. Uh, 84 Don Rush throwback. Nice little card. Let me get rid of these 02 premium. I'm seeing too many of these. It's getting on my nervous system here. <clears throat> Excuse me. A little rainy today. Got my sinuses worked up. All right, done with those. There's a leaf. Little victory, nice looking card. 
Got a couple of these. As you see, the foil here on all these cards, it does not stick around for long. That one's in fairly decent shape, but I'm not throwing an hour to poo holes. That cool a card in the garbage. It was O2 tops or something. That's got a lot of rash on it. That can go in the garbage. Oh, Topps Gallery rookie card, according to this. But it's O2, so 01 was his rookie year, according to the stats there. That's a nice little card. Oh, Diamond Kings. Oh, what? O2? Nice little die cut. Pretty, pretty. RBI leaders for that year, he had 130. And Sammy Sosa had 160. So he was a 30 off the pace with Sosa there. Those two battled the crap out of each other that those couple of years till Sosa retired. 03 Don Russ Classics. Very nice card. I love this set. As you well know if you watch these player videos. What is it? Stadium Club. What year is that? 02. Wish I had as many 01s as I did 02s. I'd be a pretty wealthy dude. Oh, Pujols. Flare Platinum. 02. There's a different leaf. I haven't seen many of that one. What is that? 03? Mm, yeah, 03 Donors. Right on. Leaf Donors. Same difference. Next year after that one. Of the World Stars. Like I said, I got a bunch of these. Any player you want, pretty much. That's foreign born. I, I can get them for you. And there's a victory. A little junk card there. I don't even know why I kept that one, but it's got Albert on it, so I'll keep it. There's the 86 throwback original. Originals, 86 throwback, rather. There's the upper deck. That's a nice card. I love that set. I got a bunch of that set. O2. Mm, pretty sure it's O2. Mm. Oh, well. We'll say it's O2. I'm wrong. Prove it. And doubles leaders. Slugging percentage again. Doubles leaders. RBI leaders. We've seen those three before. Dream on roll. 01. Sets the rookie mark for RBIs. What, you, what was the record? Let's see. Oh, let's see. By the time the 2001 season was over, Pujols had etched his name in the National League record book for most RBIs by a rookie. The, youngest, the youngster not... In 130 runs during this year, which tied for the fifth most in the league, Pujols also established NL rookie of rookie marks for extra base hits at 88 and total bases 360. That's strong, brother. Strong. There's one of the blue Dream Series cards. I got a lot of these honor rolls, but not too many blues. There's some. That goes back together, and I really hate this thing. This car is just, yeah, makes me want to throw up a little. But it's got a nice little stat there. It says Albert is the first player in Cardinals history to hit 20 or more homers in each of his first two seasons. Another leaf, another platinum. There's a nice tops gold there. Got some nice little reflector action going, refractor. They didn't call them refractors back then, but they're sexy. Another leaf, that one's rashed up and ugly card anyway. There's a vintage upper deck. All-star game, 01. Another victory. Still a crappy looking card, but it's better than the other one. Let's see. Tighten up the pile there. Tops Gallery. Uh, O2 Donruss. Nice little card. Another blue, blue page. And we've seen those already. Has that one got rash on it? Oh, well, it's got one little piece of rash. Oh, never mind. I wiped it off. Cool. It was just dust or something. And that's going to do it for the poo hole stack until I can get the new stuff sorted in there. I got one of him and him and Shohei Otani on a golf cart. Y'all seen that one if you bought the 08 or, uh, excuse me, the 18 set in the update set, I believe. Or was it Series 2? I don't know. I bought both of them, so whatever. And one of my favorites from the late 80s, early 90s, Mark McGuire, yeah, 50 years card. Brought to you by Post Serial, 2001. And let's see here, Victory, Magic. Another Magic, another Magic. Grief, it's some Magics here. Let me scan through those. Here we go. 
Mark McGuire hits, or excuse me, McGuire belts his 62nd home run of 98 to break the 37-year-old record. What was it previous, does it say? I'd be curious to see whose record he broke. And let's see. It doesn't say who he broke, what record he broke, or whose record he broke, rather. Another magic card. All right, let's see here. Flair Genuine. Genuine, however you say it. And that's a 2001. Or is it 2002? Yeah, it's 2001. Not his rookie card, but cool. Or not his official rookie card, anyway. And here we go. Flair Authority. Baseball. Nice card. Here's that. Uh, 2001 Flair. Got a lot of these. I don't know the point of them, but victorycards.com. I'm sure whatever it is is long since expired, so let's not stay on that one too long. And MVP, Upper Deck, Upper Deck Superstars, St. Louis. And what year is that? 01, 02. That's got to be close to the end there. Uh, I can't really read it. So one or two, one or the other. If you know, let me know. I could break out the magnifying glass and strain, but why bother? Oh, McGuire shows his powerful stroke early in his career as he sets a rookie record with 49 homers in 87. That's a nice little card. I love cards that you can learn something from. And it says he hit in the 89 season, 343 in the postseason, and wins his only World Series ring. With the Oaklands, the Athletics, and that's a reprint or a dupe, rather. Ninety-two Leaf World Series. Like I said, see all these World Series cards. I've got a mountain of those things. I could probably build a card house for the homeless out of those. And I can say that because I used to be homeless quite a bit. I got in the hobo mood where I travel around the country, driving truck. Get somewhere I liked, park the truck, turn the truck back into the company, rather, and then find somewhere to rent, work temp to temp job, whatever. I'm too old for that crap now. I'm 40. Time to settle it on now. Not with wife or kid type settling now, so don't worry. I'm not going that route again. 92 Leaf. 91 Donruss. 94 Flare Ultra. And a pile of these magic cards. Good grief. I realized I had so many of those. This is top stars here. I got a bunch of these for different players too. So if you like them. Got some rash on that one. So we won't count that one. But yeah, I got a lot of those. Oh, uh, there's a Upper Deck Evolution. Mark Mc... Well, you know it's Mark McGuire. We're in the Mark McGuire pile still. And records his 1500th career hit in 4 of 2000. Breaks a single season home run record, exceed re record with 62 in the season. Some more of this crap. I don't know what that is, so we're going to skip them. If you know what they are and you like them, whatever. Let me know. We'll hook you up. And there's another top gallery. Some more top tens. <clears throat> Excuse me. And let's see here. Y'all like my logo out here? That's pretty, ain't it? Not bad for a redneck. Let's see, there's a Topps Reserve. It's got a little rash on it. Let me clean up. Nope. Garbage can it is. See you, buddy. And there's another one. Like I said, I bought these in an old collection. Probably had 50, 60,000 cards in it total. All different sports. A little raised embossing there. I love the ovations. All the ovation series are nice to me. 2002 Topps opening day. Here's another stat for you. St. Louis bolstered his offense. By acquiring McGuire in a trade with the A's. I think we all knew that one, but thank you. Preferred Power Donruss. That's a nice card. Look at that shine. Shiny, shiny. That's an O2. If I'm not mistaken. Nope, 98, 99, something like that. Cool. And there's an O1 Donruss. More of this crap. Let's go ahead and get through those. Skip. 
impact clear and that one's a 2000 right on another top stars i love that set most all-star appearances drum roll please at 11. okay cool says roberto Al alomar at 12 above him but he's got the most now in the 20th anniversary there where establishes the then record of home runs was in a season was 70. I remember watching that game where he popped 70. That was awesome. Okay, season highlights here. And I can't really read it, so you're going to have to freeze frame that. There you go. 549th career homer. There you go. You can read that. Pause it. Oh, a little full stamp Omega 2000. Another evolution. Some more of this crap. Let me get those out of there. Let's take a look at that. I might throw them away. But I'll give you a chance to claim them if you want them. Just pay shipping on them. <clears throat> or I'll throw them in a lot if you want something else. Uh, Clear Traditions. Rookies and Stars. And Tribute Card here. It breaks the single season with 62. Uh, Clear Ultra 94. I love this card. Everything's easy to read and laid out. Pretty nice. Clear 01. 2000 opening day. Tops Gallery. Opening day. Let's see if this is a new stat here. Nope. Oh, already read that one to you. Same card. And we've already went over that one. 70 and 98. And... 8.5 of 99, he joins the 500 club with a 451 foot shot, solo shot, against the Padres. So even back then, the Padres were giving up bombs. I don't think much has changed since then. I think they still give up a lot of bombs, but we won't go there. All right, there you go. That's the Ortiz, Ryan, Pujols, and McGuire lot. Yeah, we were right over 20 minutes, so that's right where I want to be. I'm going to let that one go. We still got... Frank Thomas, Tony Gwynn, A-Rod, Ichiro, and Ken Griffey Jr. to go. And I'm probably going to get most of them done today, if not all of them. <clears throat> I did some research on my analytics. And I'm trying to get some better better title work in the headings. Uh, it's been viewed. Or excuse me. It's been seen in the views and the searches. A little over 1,900 times. That's pretty good for only nine subscribers, but... I'm trying to get more views out of that. I think 96 of the 1900. That's not a very good percentage, like 2% actually seen the video. So we're going to try to keep going here and get some videos stacked up. And maybe the right people that like older stuff. Everybody's looking for box breaks, and I can understand why. But there's a lot more to baseball cards and football hobby cards than just breaking boxes. Don't get me wrong. I'm going to break the hell. Oh, excuse me. I'm going to break the heck out of some boxes on this channel. But. For right now, my fake my focus is to get the count up, get the video count up, get the quality up. Like I said, if you watch the first one and now, I've already improved my mount situation. I'm going to be improving my camera situation very shortly. Even though this phone is not too bad, I don't like having the uh, PVC pipe sitting on a table base and shining a lamp from right beside the table. And it's just really janky right now. I'm not I'm not proud of it at all. Video quality is good, but the setup's kind of stuck, kind of stink. But it's a work in progress. We'll get better. We'll get nicer. And like I said, I got a box coming in Saturday. It's going to be a nice little lot, I hope. It was cheap enough to take a chance on. And the guy said he's got a lot better stuff if I like it. So we'll hit that one Saturday. And then Monday, I've got a huge box coming in. It's got the two Otani graded cards in it. I'm still curious to see what those are. And a lot of autos, a lot of stuff. Uh, rookies and parallels and stuff in it and then after that i don't think i have much more coming in for a little bit so i'm gonna have to flip some of those but stay tuned like i said we'll have a break coming saturday it's gonna be a small one but it's still a break breaks a break a break but i'm gonna reset my fire stick and watch some more youtube and let this video upload and then i'll clear my phone and start over again like i said we still got some good names coming up and I still got a lot of collection to sift through, so we're going to get busy. Y'all have a good day. I will see you later.